Okay, first thing you're gonna do is install the USB. You wanna do that with the power off. And turn the power on. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change the uh, system in, uh, software package. So we're pressing the M button until it beeps several times. That's to get at the memory switch settings. Then we're going to go down to communication. Press this and then we're going to change, using the plus and minus key, we're going to change this to machine data. Oh, excuse me, panel information. And the one, this is the folder, the file that we're going to upload. 02.01.08-03. This is to allow a larger sewing field on the machine. So once we uh, get to that one, we're going to press this ready button and it's going to start doing what it needs to do to program it. That beep is normal. It's just telling you that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. When it completes, it will tell you to, to shut the power down. Okay, now we'll just shut the power down. <clears throat> we turn the power back on. And we're just going to verify that it's done by pressing the M button holding it again to memory switch so you get the several beeps and we're going to go up to memory switch 2 and we're going to look for the one that has the X and Y scale change which is like 56 memory switch 56 is the X scale movement and you'll see that I can change that and go greater than 20 and in the Y scale that's in the X minus direction this is in the uh, Y plus direction and the Y minus direction, so we change that to that size. So we know that that's done at this point. So we're okay with that, we can get out of this scenario. Now we're going to upload the pattern that we have here. So we're going to go back um, to memory switch here, and we're going to do. Um, communication again and this time we're going to do V data and the pattern that we're going to install here is pattern 2 now on this uh, system we don't really have to put it at a particular place you can put it in the next location as one but to be consistent with the 1900 earlier models we're going to change this to 51 But with this system here, you, the computer will differentiate between the EEPROM standard and what's been uploaded. But we're just going to keep it consistent for here. So it's pattern number uh, two from the USB to uh, the panel. It's going to be 51. And when we're okay, we're going to press the ready button and it's going to load that panel up. Okay? So here in this, in this icon here, it's showing you whether the standard pattern. So if you wanted to call up a standard pattern, you would be pressing the up arrow. Excuse me. Uh, you'd be pressing the plus or minus key, and you're going to see the pattern changing. These are all the standard VARTAC patterns, which at some point we will disable. If you wanted to access what was stored in memory, like the pattern that you just put in, you'd use the up arrow then, and you're going to see this change from standard to what looks like an EEPROM, and that's 51, that's the pattern, and this is the scale. Now on a stock machine, uh, because this is larger than the sewing field, it may have some problems where, uh, where the feed bar would interfere with the casting as it, as it travels. So in the next video, we'll show you how to set that.
Okay, in this part of the video here, we're showing you how to set the origin on the sewing machine. Because basically when you put in a large field pattern, bigger than the, the sewing machine was designed for, uh, we have to kind of reposition the pattern in, in the machine. We have to make sure that we don't hit at either, at either direction. Travel here is bigger than the, uh, the stock sewing field, so we do have room to expand the machine without any problem. We just have to center it. And the first thing that we're going to do is, this is the stock feed bar stud. So we take that out and put in this other one that we have here that's just cut up on the side. So that gives us some more room to travel. Okay? And on these machines, there's no uh, sensor here. So it's all through the encoder to where the origin is. So now we need to tell the sewing machine system where the origin of the, machine, of the, of the center should be. So we're going to turn the, the machine on. And we're going to press the M button. Let it beep several times. And then when we press the up arrow, we're going to have a, 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 one of the memory switch 13 here to check the program. We're going to do that. And then number two here is for the origin adjustment. So we're going to push that and press the enter button. Now right now, where the needle bar, at, where the, excuse me, where the feed bar actually is here, all right, is what is showing on the screen what is showing on the screen here, all right? So that's not necessarily origin position. Origin position, this thing should say zero, zero. So where we get it to where its origin position is, is according to the book, we just press the, the start pedal, okay? And the feed bar will position itself and be at zero, zero. So now if you look at the screen, it says zero, zero. Okay? So at that point, We've made a little fixture here, which screws in, and we want to set that set. The needle comes down and come into the center of this hole. And the way you would do this is by pressing, for the arrow keys would give you the cross motion and the plus and minus key for the Y. For most cases on new machines, you just really need to do the Y axis. So by pressing this, the feed bar will move. The feed bar will move front to back. I'm And I'm going to put this in place until the needle comes right into, into position. And once the needle goes into location here, and everything is all set, at that point here, this is where my position is, I will press this button and hold it. You'll hear a beep. Notice everything turning back to zero. All right. Now the origin is set because we've told the computer this is where our, our home position zero, 00, the center of the pattern and the sewing field needs to be. All right. And so at that point we can remove this gauge. Exit out of here. We're going to go to our pattern. Pattern 51. And if everything is okay, the machine should cycle and not lock off our jet. And so it So then what you would do is you would reinstall your plate here. And we'll show you in the next video how to check okay, the pattern. Okay, so at this point, we've installed this back on here. We've put our test plate on. Notice that we actually add a second hole in the back here to allow uh, more movement with the arch. We also add a hole in the front to help stabilize this. So this is the pattern that we've got on here. 
So the first thing that we want to do is check to make sure that my in my test plate I have a big enough opening. All right. So the pad has been ready, but we're going to make this the clamp come down by pressing this button, and then we're going to use the plus key to jog it around. And then if you you look around here, you'll see this jog around. And I can see that my needle's not going to hit anywhere in my test plate. And what we've done is we've taped a piece of paper here, because that way we'll be able to have a paper perforation. And once we're all set here, I can just press the, the reset button and it'll go back. And then we'll cycle this around and make the pattern. And then there's, that's actually the pattern. We can use this to, when we assemble our arch on here to locate these clamps that it's in the center of, of the pattern next part here we have to change this uh, work support plate on the top so we put rag over the top here to make sure that no dust gets inside here because we're going to be cleaning this up so this is going to come off and we have to add our new plate that's longer but if you'll see on the original casting this is higher than here that's why we also have a shim in place so you're going to have to actually take a file and file some of this down so that when you put this plate on with the shim, this is flat. You don't want it, I'm going to exaggerate here, you don't want it resting on the bump and being like this. You want it to be flat. And you should be able to get some clearance in between here. And then once you get that done, you can go back and we have different screws that are going to go in here, flathead screws, that'll give you that room.